Hey, this is Ramon Ray, editor of Smart Hustle Magazine, and we're at an American Express event all about uh, entrepreneurs and growing businesses. And uh, what's your name and who do you work for? So my name is Shay Huang. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders at Boxed. Great. And for those who don't know Shay, what is Boxed all about? What are you trying to do for companies and for individuals, but mainly for companies? So Boxed is an online warehouse club uh, where we sell large items, call it, we don't sell the the 16 pack of Oreos, you'll get the big large pack um, delivered right to your doors right. with no membership fee, generally with free shipping as well. Got it. And one thing that we love to do at Smart Hustle is get lessons from people who've been on that journey. And I think you said, Ramon, I can got, share lessons. I've got a ton of lessons, man. So if the folks out there have like four hours, you know, um, but we'll have to condense it down a exactly. bit. Um, but go for it. In your growth, uh, give us, digest. I mean, you know, dump that on us. Tell us some of the things you've learned in Growing Box, what you wish that you could tell other people. Man, I mean, if you just look at the last few years of our journey, um, from being a private game developer to being purchased by Zynga, mm -hmm. pre-IPO, then post-IPO, 16 bucks a share, $1.85 right. a share, leaving and then forming Boxed in a garage and now wow. nine figure in sales, all within, I would say, probably the last five to six years um, for that entire journey. Boxed is only three and a half years old. Um, it's been pretty amazing. I've learned so much. Like one of the things that I, I would say the main lesson yeah, the main thing is that you always, you should always be uh, expecting things not to go right. I think, you know, like nowadays it's like if I have a great day and everything's gone right, I'm almost nervous and I'm like waiting for the other shoes. wondering what's going wrong. Exactly, you know, but I think that's the sign of, of, of things actually going well, in, in as ironic as that sounds, because if you think about what most entrepreneurs try to do, especially in high growth companies, um, you're trying to do something very unnatural. You're trying to grow a business to a very large scale in a very short amount of time. So if things don't break and if things are going really smoothly, then you gotta question like uh, your strategy a bit. So a lot of his mindset, I think, is what I'm hearing is just being comfortable. Hey, there's always tomorrow, in, unless you do something really, really wrong. But pretty much, there's always tomorrow, and take it easy. Is that kind of what I'm hearing? That's uh, that that's kind of where uh, where I've netted out. It's right. like you know, it doesn't matter actually if you're a, a, a large business or a high growth company or or a, a small to medium sized business. You know, um, that's a great lifestyle business. Um, I think what you need to do is really kind of delete out the outliers. Mm -hmm. So you have great days, you'll have bad days, but if you just wake up every morning and keep the, mo keep the feet moving, um, I think that's the most important part. Um, most entrepreneurs end up giving up, mm -hmm. um, but if you just don't give up and stay in the fight, um, that's really a large part of, of the battle. We'll play a game. I'm going to give you a few uh, quick topics. Uh, okay, all right. And, uh, and just go. give me okay. what comes to the top of your mind. Okay. Maybe we'll talk about right. hiring and things like that. Okay. Just a so quick tip. So if I don't tip. like it, can I just duck? And then <laughs> am, I, am, I not, am I out of the screen? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with you. So um, quick tip on hiring. When people are trying to hire their first two, three, four employees, any you know quick thoughts that come to mind in hiring? How do you do that right? As best you can. Especially in the beginning, uh, hunger okay. over experience. Mm. Um, because especially if you're going into a realm where no one has figured it out yet, mm. especially in a technology company, um, that's the, the experience doesn't really matter if no one has figured it out yet. So hunger over experience, that changes over time, but first four, hunger. Okay, and then what about marketing? Talk to the person who's a small accounting firm, 10, 20 people, law firm, uh, pet, you know, what do you, pet grooming place, whatever yeah. it is. Yep. That's a broad question, I know, Shay. Yeah, yeah. But marketing, what comes to mind? How do we get more customers? I, I think one of, we're awfully blessed where it's no longer like you're sitting in a phone book and saying like, how do I go out and market? Right. You have like SEO, SEM, Facebook, there's all these channels where you don't need a million dollar marketing budget in order to get the word out. Uh, but if you're smart, experiment with these platforms, uh, get some folks who, who, who know the platforms to help you, right. you can build a pretty decent sized business off of the backs of a lot of those um, those social networks. Yeah. And then what about numbers? And again, this is it's not even a broad question. It's hard. Sure. How do you answer it? But just again, guiding that small business owner, they have their QuickBooks so zero, their line of credit, yep. they're overwhelmed, they use some credit card. Anything in your experience you can think of, Ramon? Here's a few tips on money management, anything? Yeah, I would say there's there's an incredible amount of, of, uh, of, of options out there. Um, it's, you know, we're here at an Amex sure. event. Hello, it's, yeah, yes. It's, <laughs> it's very competitive. And that's why Amex is having right. events like these, right. you know? Um, and so, when there, whenever there's competition, the consumer wins. And then this time, it's the folks watching this, it's me and you that are the winners. And that there's a lot of products out there that allow you to do different things, whether it's, you know, for Amex, the plum card, you know, sure. you know getting that early pay discount or getting that, that trade kind of the later pay. Um, it, you just have to go out there and, and experiment. A lot of those products didn't exist 10 years sure. ago, and they now do. Got it. And then lastly, what would you tell, again, to the entrepreneur that's frustrated, Shay? You know, they've started their business. Maybe they're three, four years in. You, still small? Basically what I tell myself. You know, I'm like. What do you tell yourself? <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and they need some encouragement. Any, anything you can think, they're, they're in the hustle, in the grind. 
how to, it's hard for them to open their eyes to the next day because they're just so overwhelmed. I'll tell you two things that, um, that resonate with me and that I kind of tell myself all the time is that, um, you know, if you have a ton of resources, then this doesn't really matter to you. But hunger can be hunger or hunger can be food. Yeah. Um, and so for folks like us, even though we're at a certain scale now, I still treat hunger as my food. And every day I need to be hungry. I need to be in the, in, in the hunt. Um, and that's what feeds me to get out of bed uh, every morning. I would also say everything you've ever wanted in life that's valuable, anything, whether it's going up and, and, and talking to that, that girl guy across the room you know, that you wanted to talk to or, or making your business succeed or going to get that job, everything that you've ever wanted is on the other side of, wow. of fear um, and, and instinct. Yeah. Uh, and your natural instinct as a human, as a biological right. being, is fight or flight. Um, and if you want to be an entrepreneur, it's about fight. Love and it. so, yeah. Love it. And one more time, uh, give us your full name and who you work for. Yeah, Che Huang, CEO and co-founder of Boxed. Great. And I'm Ramon Ray, editor of Smart Hustle Magazine.